Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J. And uh, I was wondering if you were ever wondering, just like me, who the hell Casey Zander is? Either way, my assistant dropped this in my lap and the title really made me go. So that's what I'm gonna be reacting to today is this apparent witnessing of women hitting the wall. I don't know. I don't know what that term means. I see it a lot on my channel because apparently I'm fucking old, but to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity for me to react to other dating coaches out there or another one of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button with that notification bell. Okay, so like I said, I don't know who this guy is, but I see this word all the time. This idea of women hitting a wall, I guess it means y'all think we're fucking useless after a certain age, which I... It could be argued a lot of us are. And while I um, I wanted to make a point to not critique women because, you know, we're, we're having a hard enough time being judged and criticized by one another as it is. I'm very much about women empowerment. However, I thought, what if I just don't have any preconceived notions about this idea or about this video before watching it and I just watch it for you, for you to see how the fuck I really think about it. So let's get started without further ado. This video is um, I witnessed a woman in action who hit the wall. I don't know. Yeah, let's get started. Uncle C back in the office. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing how I witnessed personally what female nature at its peak, at its pinnacle, looks like in real life. And in today's video, not only am I going to be talking to you just one-to-one, -one, man to man here about a real life experience, but I got to witness specifically how women talk when they are with other women and there's no men around. Now, here's what happened. You guys know from my past- Oh shit, I already know that. <laughs> this isn't gonna look good for any of us ladies. <sighs> For you guys who know that I've done these videos about like what we women say when y'all are watching or how we really think and how we really feel. I'm telling you right now, I would be horrified if a man heard me and my girlfriends talk about them. Hey, all right, let's uh, keep going. I heard something. I, actually, I heard a series of things that cannot be undone. And this series of things that cannot be undone is not only the truth of female nature and female dynamic today, but I think that this is a perfect representation of how modern women behave. Now, before we begin, fellas. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like very terrified. <laughs> oh God, okay. What I wanted to say and address with this is obviously, I'm drawing from my memory, which means I'm gonna be needing to talk slower. I'm typically an okay speaker, but I might stutter through this one because I'm trying to draw out what I saw, what I heard, and what the true actions were. Now let's actually dive in. There's three women that are sitting at this table, right? One of them is 35 and I heard her verbalize this. The other one is 31 and I heard her verbalize this. And the last is one of them who was a bit younger. I don't know if she was a tag along friend, but she's 23. The 23 year old has a boyfriend. Okay. The other two do not. And I heard a variety of things from these women that got them to truly express what their thought process was in modern dating and modern relationships today. The woman who is 35 years old, and keep in mind, fellas, this is a woman who is probably a four at best. She is below her SMV peak, and she is on the decline, obviously. First of all, I'm not a fan of, like, men rating each other, or rating women, but, you know, again, I always... Tell you guys that it's totally okay for you to um, only go for women that you're absolutely attracted to. So that's fine. It's a four in his eyes. I don't know what an SMVP, SVP, SMVP. I don't know. If somebody could just in the comments below let me know what the fuck that is, uh, that'd be cool. So yeah, let's keep going. And she's apparently on the decline. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, wait. I hope he shows a picture of this lady. She's talking about all of the work she's trying to get done with. XYZ Botox consultant, the XYZ, you know, plastic surgeon, that type of stuff. But not only that, she's, she's, she's specifically verbalizing to the other two women how there's just too many options to choose from. And she has this doctor in Manhattan that she sees, and she has this guy who she's in a long-term relationship with. And there's this other guy that she sleeps with on the side. 
And this was normal speech coming out of her as if she was not doing anything wrong, as if there's no repercussions for her actions. And not only that, she had full intent to live out this pleasure as long as she could. Now, keep in mind, this next woman who is... Okay, first of all, this sounds like to him he's not okay with this. Any man who is not okay with a woman of any age using her body and her sexuality in whatever way she sees fit and fine for herself, you got a fucking problem. Anybody who's looking at anybody else like they're not okay with how somebody else is living their life, man or woman, you need to take a look at yourself. Um, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like the rest of this video. Uh, <laughs> 31 she's sitting there and she's talking about how she ended things with her recent fiance who was an attorney due to the fact that he was overwhelming her and she didn't know if she could handle this type of commitment now keep in mind fellas women are typically the ones who push for commitment and what you're going to notice oftentimes is as you enter into some sort of relationship with them, not only do they still continue to keep those options from the past, but you're going to notice that desire drops significantly. And it's just because we live. Okay, I'll stop him right there. For somebody to say that women are the ones who typically push for a commitment. Okay, I'll give him that. Again, we women, we have a biological clock. Um, it's not in our nature to not want to settle down. I know for me, I, when in my 20s, I thought to myself, like, yo, my girlfriends are crazy giving their boyfriends ultimatums to get married. What kind of crazy assholes are these? And then when I hit 30, something happened in my fucking body where I was like, I gotta get married. Like, literally, to the day, as soon as I turned 30, my God, it's hot in here. So, yes, pushing for commitment. You know, it tends to come on our side. But to say we keep options open from the past is such an unfair generalization. I know for me, there isn't a single person in my contact list. If you've been inside me, if we've talked romantically and we're not talking romantically or you're not inside me currently, you're blocked. That's just, that's just my philosophy in life. I don't go backwards. I only go forwards. I don't keep anybody around. And you guys do it too. Fuck. I just ended a relationship with a guy who literally kept in touch with every single woman he's ever fucked. It was like, oh, we're just friends. Even though they're sending him nudes and shit. Oh yeah, just friends. So I'm not okay with that. But to say that desire does drop significantly in relationships, yes, that is an absolute reality of what happens in relationships because our hormones are so overstimulated and overwhelming when we first meet somebody that our body thinks, okay, we should make a baby with them, hurry before a T-Rex comes and motherfucking kills us. So once our bodies decide that we probably have copulated by now, it lowers the hormones down to a base level. That's just science. It's just our biology of how we work. Oh my God, I have a feeling I'm really, really, really not gonna like the rest of this video, but let's keep going. In an overstimulated world. We live in an overstimulated environment. Okay, here's where things get real interesting. The 23 year old woman is sitting there and she has a boyfriend and she's telling things how she, she's explaining to the other two women how things have been stable, things have been consistent, things have been good. And the other two women in her 30s are reprimanding her, are giving her hell, are raising hell at her for not exercising past options, even though she set up a great world with this man. Now, the reason why I even make this video in the first place is because... Okay, I will say that my older friends, my 30, my, my friends in their 30s, 40s, 50s, they do tend to, uh, you know, lecture or the, the ladies of uh, lesser wisdom on what it takes to be happy in their lives. I have plenty of girlfriends who have gotten married and are still married and miserable and married from having settled. I have girlfriends who are still swinging the dick. I have girlfriends who are divorced. I have girlfriends who married their high school sweethearts. Um, we're all miserable to some extent. And we're all happy and satisfied to some extent as well. I don't think age has anything to do with it. Fuck, I just didn't expect to have so much to comment on in this video. I think I accidentally turned the heat on here. I'm fucking dying now. Let's keep going, geez. Do you know that I preach that men must do the work. You must make yourself a man of value, okay? You must be doing the things that make you strong, make you dominant, make you powerful, make you masculine. But here's what you have to remember, fellas, is that if you let any woman into that world and she's not the right fit, she's not all about the game, 
you can tell that she has modern women type tendencies, it will not work and you're setting yourself up for a complete disaster. Okay, I'm just not a fan of vague generalities and especially oversimplifying um, any type of person. Um, I totally agree. You guys have to take care of yourselves first. You guys have to get firm on who you are as a man without anybody else in your life. You have to get firm on what you want for yourself and you have to put yourself in a place of power to be able to discern what women or people in general are and are not worth your time. I absolutely agree with him saying that. But to say that modern women, do you know how long people have been complaining about the modern men or the modern women or kids these days? For fucking ever. You know, they used to complain that kids these days are too busy burying their heads in the books and not conversing with their fucking family. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, sorry, I spit on you. Ah, uh, but yeah, we, we have options. We don't need you. But you know what? You don't need us either. I even made a video about it. But you know what you do need? You do need to love yourself. You do need to look at yourself in the mirror and be okay with that. You do need to be extremely discriminating about what you allow into your life, who you allow into your life. I absolutely believe that. Modern women or not, none of us have time machines. So you're fucking here, you're fucking here right now. Accept it, accept that these are your options, these are the women, and we're not all the same, just like you guys aren't all the same. Ah, all right. I thought, I thought I was gonna see a video about women, to be honest. Um, I'm sure that I didn't. I thought I was gonna like get to peep women. Let's see what the fuck they're doing and saying. But I guess not. All right, let's see if he, God, he's so negative. I can't stand this. I can't stand negative Nancy's. All right. Okay, oftentimes the, the person you get backstabbed by the most is the one who was closest to you, the one who you thought was the friend, the one who you thought was, you know, the, the, the perfect relationship partner, anything like that. But what you have to remember as a man is that your guard must always be slightly up, especially in today's day and age. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't think I can make through the rest of the video just because I don't want my video critique of him to be too long. Um, yeah, the people we let in the most are most capable of hurting us because the, it requires vulnerability. It requires you to be open. That's how you feel the wonderful things as well. I'm sorry, it's a double-edged sword. And if you're not willing to taste the sour, then don't expect to taste the sweet as well. Oh God, to say to operate with a guard up, I wouldn't put it those terms, I would say, be mindful of what you want, be okay with what you want, and be okay with passing on things that you don't want for the sake of anybody else's desires or expectations of you. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm pretty sure, you know, he did mention that um, he's going off memory. I'm pretty sure that was the extent of his memory. I thought I was gonna see chicks in action, talking some shit and being embarrassed. And I'm not embarrassed by anything these women had to say. I'm not gonna lie, um, it's hard enough to find somebody you can connect with. I always say we're only meant to connect with like 99.9% .9 of the people out there. It's hard. And for those of you out there looking for all the red flags, guess what? You're going to fucking find them. And we all suck. We all fucking suck to some extent. This life is really fucking miserable for everybody to some extent. And it's also quite fucking beautiful. People are really fucking amazing as well for as shitty as human beings can be we can also be that like that surprisingly beautiful and wonderful to one another it all depends on how you see it so uh that's all i got for today i hope you got something useful out of this i'm still not sure what it means for women to hit the wall not sure what kind of wall we're talking about or if this is like um a geographic thing um, but either way, I'd like to hear your thoughts about it. And uh, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.